give you know Mike Norvell and Memphis credit. You know they, their guys played well. Um, you know, so first and foremost, you give them credit. But we we we're not gonna beat anybody five turnovers. You know what I mean? We just I can't remember the last time we had five turnovers. But I, I'm surprised we're still. Well, not surprised. The defense played really well. Gave us a chance. You know, to stay in the game. But you're not gonna beat anybody with five turnovers. Um, you know, we had some. You know, bad decision penalty wise. That normally not characteristic of us. You know what I mean? We normally play smart and clean, and that um, running to the kicker was a huge penalty because we're about to get really good field position. Uh, you know, just we did we did a lot of bad stuff at the end. We had that face mask at the end. We're trying to hold them down in there, and you know, that was a big penalty. Just uh, we didn't play very smart, and that's that ultimately comes back to me. I'm the head coach, um, but like I said, you're not gonna beat anybody with five turnovers. Is it even more frustration because how well the defense played? I mean, it seemed like when they needed to make a stop, they they were able to make a stop for most of this game. Yeah, like I said, you you know, it's we could never play. You know, thought our defense was playing great the whole game, and then they give up a 99-yard touchdown. You know what I mean? It's just like we were like popcorn. You know what I mean? Just and then the defense stops, and then we turn the ball over. It's like my gosh, you know, just we we're just uh, then we get a good punt. But, you know, the defense kept us in the game. You're not going to beat anybody five turnovers. I mean, we won't win another game we have five turnovers. We're not. And to be still in this game, to me, is remarkable. I mean, I just like, how the heck are we still in the game with five turnovers? I mean, I, like I said, I can't remember the last time we've had five turnovers. I think turnovers. maybe Boston College. Yeah, that's that's over. Carcare Bowl. That's, yeah. that's 15 years ago. Yeah, I mean, 2004, just, six yeah. turnovers, last time. Yeah. So it's just, uh, you're not going to beat people doing that. That's, and that's always been our mantra, and man, we just, just bad. Are you surprised? Because Zach, you know, we have with five games under his belt, he seemed like he had corrected the turnover issues. Are you surprised that this reared its ugly head again? I, I definitely was. I mean, he was playing really well the last three games. Um, you know, I, I kind of felt it coming, tried my best to prepare our team and warn our team. You know what I mean? Just after a rivalry game, you know, just. It's hard to play the next week, but it's not an excuse. We had a good team coming, and we had to get ready for them. And I did a poor job of getting us ready because obviously we weren't ready for it. Obviously, the pitches were on Zach. The, the other fumbles were. Did you feel they were caused for by the defense? The uh, we got to take care of the ball. Some of them they did, but one we had a pitch. You know, we uh, pitch back then and leave on time. Um, but we guys got to take care of the ball. Then uh, we got to take better care of the ball. Any comment about Owen White's performance? He delivered a 60-some yard punt and a 50-some yard, which backed them up. I mean, he did do a pretty good job today. I'm yeah, really proud of him. I did you know, a lot of good things. Um, but, you know, we, we, didn't, we didn't get a chance to, you know, you look at it in hindsight, probably spent too much time, probably could have got one more play at the end of the half, maybe to get a couple more yards. But then you don't want to get greedy, you know what I mean? I've seen that happen so many games. The guy tries to get five more yards, and they take all the seven seconds off, and you don't get your playoff. But then I was a little bit out of, you know, uh, Bennett's range. You know, if you do that, maybe the game's tied. But, you know, there are a lot of things I was second guess. Obviously, there's no time. Central Florida's a pretty darn good team. You have no time to <coughs> worry well, about this one. Central Florida got after, you know, beat, got after this team. beat yeah. the team that just beat us pretty good, you know, so. Shows you what we got. And we've got no time to feel sorry for ourselves. You know, we got to press forward, um, you know, get on a plane, get our sandwich or whatever we got to eat, and, and move on. You know, we just got to move on. You know, and it's like that in this profession and this sport. When you win, you have to move on, and when you lose, you got to move on. And we'll see. You know what? You know we're a leadership institution. This is what leadership's about. Um, and hopefully, we'll bounce back. Your thoughts on their defense? Clearly, they put ten men in the box and just. No, they're eight men front. I mean, it wasn't anything they did, but they they played well. But it's just you know we take care of the ball. I mean, you lose five drives. You know what I mean? It's just right. uh, you know. But like I said, don't take anything away from uh, Memphis. They had a good plan, lined up an eight man front. You know, but if you don't take care, of it, I don't care how they line up. They have fourteen guys up there. If you turn the ball over. Nothing to be anybody.
that's the key. It's not how they want to can't have five turnovers. They might kill us. Anything else? Thanks, Thanks Coach. Thank you. you know, defensively, they were doing that made things so tough for you guys to. Um, they didn't really do anything different. It was a eight man front, something we've been practicing all year. I mean, we haven't seen it yet this year, but we, we knew how to go against it. And uh, it just comes down to execution. Uh, I, really, I believe, I mean, we could, we were running the ball, and that was just mistakes on my part, uh, keeping control of the ball. I mean, that's that's something I'm going to hold accountable for this entire, for the entire game. Um, defense played a hell of a game. Um, you know, we just didn't do our job on offense. On that final play, the final interception, uh, <coughs> what what went wrong on that play? Uh, I, I think I went out there and predetermined who I was going to throw it to before. And so um, I was anticipating for the free safety to move, <coughs> kind of, go across the field to the corner route instead, but I mean, that's something that's going to haunt me for a very long time. Zach, the, the pitches, just with, just one of those days where the pitch just was not comfortable? or um, Yeah, I mean, there's really no, that just comes down to execution again on my part. I mean, that's that's purely all me. Um, I mean, yeah, it's just something, I don't know what's going on. Coach, you, you have any other questions for the players? We'll let them shower if you don't. Uh, um, DJ, I'm just your thoughts. I mean, coming back home to Memphis, and I know you wanted to get out of here with a win. Just your general thoughts on the game? We just, as a team, we still play well. Um, that's it. My goal wasn't really to come home and win. It was just really for the team, to get a team win, but I have no connection with you.